In this PowerPoint 2016 presentation, we're going to be discussing the View tab. Now, all of the different sections of View primarily revolve around displaying the information you have in your PowerPoint presentation to you in different ways. For instance, if we go to Presentation Views, we can see our slides presented differently. Before we get into discussing the presentation views, I want to point out that you don't necessarily have to be on this tab to access some of these. In the bottom right hand corner, you have the option to actually choose between some of the presentation views. In this case, including normal, slide sorter, and reading view presentation view mode. The normal presentation view is what we've been using in the rest of these tutorials up to this point. And this layout is going to have the thumbnails for your slides over here on the left, and then a big display area for your currently selected slide while you edit that slide. If we go over to the outline view, it's very similar. Instead of looking at the thumbnails on the left though, we're actually looking at the text outline of the slide. This view is more useful to you when you're more interested in the text on the slide rather than the visual layout of the slide and the background and all of the objects within it. This outline view is more useful to you when you're specifically interested in the text on the slide rather than all of the visual aspects. You can't see the visual aspects here, but you can certainly see all of the text. If you want to look at every single thumbnail in a larger presentation, the slide sort of view may be what you're going for here. Because what the slide sorter does is takes your entire workspace area and converts it into a list of your thumbnails. You wouldn't be editing the slides directly from this view, but as the slide sorter name would suggest, you can move them around and you can also add new slides or delete old ones. So this is a good view if you're trying to work with the slide level. Next up we have the notes page view and what this allows you to do is have a very large section for your slide notes to be able to record things that aren't actually going to appear on this slide and if you already have notes or other people have written notes for you, you can view them very easily from this format. Whenever you want to look at a different slide on this notes page view, you would simply scroll up and down to get to the slide you're looking for. And each slide is going to have their own notes text box. Inside of reading view, you're actually looking at the PowerPoint presentation as it would be presented in full screen mode, just without it actually being full screen. So if we added in some animations here, it would actually show as we switched slides. In order to demonstrate that, I went ahead and added in a transition effect. So this is the honeycomb slide transition, and you can see that it plays despite not being in a full screen presentation mode. The two best ways to exit this mode is either going to be to switch to a different presentation view mode down here in the bottom right, or to simply hit escape on your keyboard. That's all for presentation views in PowerPoint 2016. In the next video, we're going to be getting into the slide master view, which allows you to create custom themes and modify the different slide layouts that you have available in your presentation. See you in the next video.